the international break. Another unnecessary, boring interruption to our beloved club football, right? Wrong! This is the real international break. And 61 games are played across four continents for the most important tournament in the game. And we're going to prove to you why the international break means so much to guys like this. This is our home. And we begin here in Bosnia, one of Europe's poorest and smallest nations, whose beloved national team Zmajevi have been a source of hope and pride during hard times, culminating in their qualification for the last World Cup, which saw hundreds of thousands take to the streets to celebrate, and their president announced their day of qualification as the second most important in the nation's history after the day of their independence. For us, it means everything. It was a dream. It was a dream and it's come true. You can't imagine, you must feel it. Bosnia is a little bit special because we have the war. We have must fighting for Bosnia. So many people know about our small country through our players. These guys who play for Bosnia, this is a marketing for, for, the, for the world. It's just nice to see that the passion of football into the country is huge here, so uh, it's just a great occasion to be a part of it. This is our time to shine. This is our time to, to show, show the world that, that, that we exist. The heart that is going to be left on the field is the most important thing here. Now this one's interesting for me because I've been to Bosnia many times with Copenhagen, but it's always been to the biggest city, the capital, Sarajevo. However, Bosnia, they host their national team games here in Zenit are a much smaller place and they do it for one reason and one reason only because their stadium has a far more intimidating atmosphere. That is what we came out here for. The five goals, the Tifo, the Pyro, that sold out stadium, and the gifts from the BH Fanaticos. That's amazing. Do you know how long I've wanted one of these for? Well, yeah. now all, one of us. Okay. Yeah. Best of luck. Yeah. I just want to see you at the World Cup now. But it's not just happening here in Bosnia, it's all around the world, from Panama to Argentina to Ireland to Australia. Fans are doing the same thing just for the chance to be part of the World Cup. And tomorrow, it's happening in Montenegro, in a top of the table clash against Poland. And we're hitting the road to show you the scenes. Voila. 7 a.m. on a Sunday. Four hour drive to Podgorica, Montenegro. Let's go. How often you're on a lift top in Montenegro? I just smile, dickheads. <laughs> Montenegro, I don't know, it's probably charging me, yeah. But football, football, what else? Alright, after that incredible scenic drive, we have arrived in Podgorica, the capital of Montenegro. It's not the most welcoming weather as you can see, but we are pumped nonetheless. I mean, this is first, first, second. Football is something that unites people here. We don't have fashion week like in New York, you understand? And we don't need to have that. We live here for football. I believe in my country and I think we are going to go to the World Cup. I think 600,000 people, all country will live for, for that game. When we got to playoffs with Czech Republic, 4,000 people traveled to Prague. They loan the money to be there, just to be the part of the group that can be associated with national team. Football is... I forget now. Seven days before the game, we talk about football. On that night, we are living football. It's a sport nation. We live for sport, you understand? <laughs> Fucking hell. Welcome to the Balkans. <laughs> Welcome oh. to the Balkans. Yesterday we saw it in Bosnia, 24 hours later, it's in another nation, here in Montenegro. This is 
you need to take from the international game? Streams of people who are proud of their nation and are finally getting to show off who they are to the world. signed ourselves 48 hours to prove to you guys the power and importance of the international break and thanks to two incredible nations and two incredible sets of fans we were able to do that the international break comes around again in a few months i hope to see you there come off <laughs>